Hey guys, this is Stefan here, and I thought I would show you one of the new items I'm prototyping. I'm looking for a little feedback on this prototype, and so here we go. So when we're, uh, by the way here, me and uh, my alt are sitting here for some testing here, and uh, for this demonstration. And normally when you pose an avatar, let me uh, select Angora and pose her real quick. Normally when you pose an avatar, um, the eyes tend to look wherever the... Um, person that is driving the thing. So if I have him look, for example, at Stefan's nose, it changes, or I have her look on the floor. I don't see her eyes moving. Oh, there her eyes go. Start moving a little bit. But in either case, they move wherever the person clicks. Well, unfortunately, that means the model is responsible for doing things, not the, uh, not the, uh, not the photographer. And so what I've come up with in the past is something called an eye gazer. And it is controlled by the uh, the HUD here. And ultimately what I do, let me roll it around somewhat into position where she's at. Normally what you do then is you just have the model alt-click on the gazer. And then now, which I just did on my other computer, and now she's looking at the thing, they're looking at that prim, and then I can just move this prim around. And you can see as I move the prim around, down, down, up, up left, right. Her eyes are moving. Well, this is a fabulous solution. It gives a ton of resolution. I can sit there and move this thing just little teeny bits. The problem with this thing is, is it requires res. And also, if I try to do this on Stefan, and uh, let me res an eye gazer here. Although it's very possibly feasible to do this, ultimately when you hit alt click here, and then move into position. We even try to talk, and I even talk about this. The eyes are no longer looking at the gazer. So as I move around, this thing is frankly looking all over the. the what I wanted to demonstrate to you is a new way of gazing, and this gazer is actually using animations that animate strictly the eyes. So let me give you an example of this thing. I'm going to have a new button here, and I'm still trying to decide on the user interface of this thing. But I click this thing on, and. When I click it on, um, for myself I don't have to animate, but uh, for other people I do. Let me put Stefan into a pose here. Now, once he's in a pose, I actually can now use this to move the eye position. Notice when I can look center, I can start moving left, I can start moving right. This is all done with animations, up and down. And this is all done with animations. Right now, I have it set for sort of left and fully left sort of right, fully right, sort of up, fully up. And so what that does is it gives five ticks le uh, up and down, five ticks left and right, or 25 animations. Um, if this thing proves out the way I want it to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, 11, uh, 10 ticks left, 10 ticks right, 10 ticks up, 10 ticks down, plus 11, that's 11 times 11, 121 animations. And so I think that's reasonable. It's not going to overload the, uh, the HUD so much that you can't teleport anymore or something like that, like I've seen with some of the... Uh, um, other animation adjusters that uh, they get so heavy with thousands and thousands of or hundreds, tens of thousands of animations in them that they start uh, they start bogging down pretty bad. But in any case, um, the interface works exactly as you would expect here. So, for example, I can go click on Angora over here, and with Angora in position here, I can also go left, down, up. Let's have her look up, and then I can go back to Stefan, and you'll see Stefan is not looking up right now because I haven't selected Stefan. I can click over to Stefan, and now I can adjust Stefan's eyes the way I want. Um, after you do this, you can just click off the eye, anim eye animator, and then you can uh, res your projectors and whatnot and move things around. If you want to Turn, move the eyes again, you just click on this, and then we can just go uh, left and uh, right on the eyes and click it off, and we're back at moving the, uh, moving the projectors around the room. All right, guys, love to get your feedback on this. I think it's kind of cool. Um, we're looking to put this in a LumaPro release uh, as soon as we uh, shake out the bugs. See ya.